PostgreSQL, a popular open source relational database, is used in production by many companies. Hi, my name is Devan Ahmed. In a previous video, we covered how to deploy multiple PostgreSQL services to multiple cloud regions. In this video, I'll cover how you can deploy PostgreSQL service using custom configurations. All of that using Terraform. Let's get started. Let's follow this Ivan Terraform cookbook recipe to create our custom PostgreSQL service. This recipe has all the required files for you to look at. If you check out the Ivan console under the user information, there's a tab for token. So the step one for you is to create an Ivan authentication token. And the reason for that is the Terraform client will need to authenticate when creating a service. There is a link in the description of the video on how to create that authentication token. So once you have that, you can follow this recipe to start adding all these files into your VS Code or your favorite IDE. I've already done that. Uh, in the provider.tf file, I'm telling which uh, specific provider to use, the specific version to use. When you're watching this video, the provider version might be different. So check out the public Terraform registry for that. In the variables files, we're specifying which variables to use. In this case, we have the Ivan API token and the project name. So these are the ones that we have to use. Uh, and then additionally, we are specifying the admin username and password. Rather than using the default value, we're specifying custom ones. The actual values of these variables are coming from var values.tf vars files. If you can see the token I'm using on screen, don't worry. By the time you're watching it, the token would be invalid. I'm specifying the project name, which is my Ivan project name, uh, and a demo username and password. Now, in the services.tf file, it has the actual Terraform resource definition. If you only specified these four parameters, the project, the cloud name, the plan, and the service name, this particular service would be created for you with the default values for all the other configurations. Let's say you're creating a production-grade PostgreSQL service and you want that customization. So let's go over some of the customization you can do. Uh, for example, you might want to prevent accidental deletion so you can have the termination production flag to true. You might want to specify specific PostgreSQL version rather than just picking the default one. Uh, the backup hour and minute is when the backup should start the hour and the minute of the day. And this is in the UTC time zone. Uh, IP filters string is uh, to prevent incoming network traffic. So all zeros mean it's an allow all rule, but you can specify certain IP addresses to allow incoming network traffic from only those IP addresses. The admin username and password is what we mentioned before is this is a custom username and password that we are providing rather than just getting the default credential created for us. If we were creating this particular service as a read replica of an existing PostgreSQL services, we can specify which project to fork from, which service to fork from, and have the PG read replica flag to true. For this case, we are not doing it, so I have this code as commented out, but I'm leaving it for you in case you are trying it out as a read replica. All right, so if you're happy uh, with these configurations, we'll go ahead with the first Terraform command, which is the Terraform init. Uh, it initializes the current working directory. So if you can see right here, there are only four files. And keep an eye on that when we execute this command. It initializes the backend, and we can see that there are a dot tear from a folder and a log file as well. So once we have uh, the project directory initialized, the next step is tear from plan command. And we're supplying the uh, tier var files uh, as a var file. This doesn't create the service. So if I show my Ivan console to you, you can see that there is no services created yet. And that is because tear from plan is a preview of what is going to happen. So it's showing that an Ivan for PostgreSQL service will be created with all of these configurations. Okay. So I'll say this looks good to me. 
please create it. And how do I say please create it to Terraform? Terraform apply. I have to mention yes explicitly unless I pass in that auto approve flag, which is not uh, recommended for production use cases. So I have to explicitly mention yes. And now let's see what's happening. All right, something is happening here. We can see a PostgreSQL service is being created and a blinking blue indicates that a node is being provisioned for us. The service is in the rebuilding phase and we can click and go to our service overview to see all the necessary details. So here we can see we have the service URI, which we can use in our application to connect to the service. Uh, we have a handy quick connect button. So while the service uh, is being created, let's check that out. So here, if you want to connect to the service using psql, I have the command right here. Um, and then if you want to connect using your favorite programming language, you have all the details. So for example, if you like to connect using Golang, you have the code for that as well. So let's wait for a few seconds till our services are up and running. And for that time frame, I'll fast forward the video so that you don't have to wait. All right, so from the terminal, I can see that the apply is complete, resource added. So let's check out on the Ivan console. And yes, the solid green and the running tag tells us our service is up and running. All right, so now let's try to destroy or delete this service. So the command for that is Terraform destroy. And we have to explicitly mention yes. Now, before I hit that yes, a quiz for you. Are we able to delete this service? Let's see. We're getting an error. The error says that the service is protected against termination and shutdown. Remember the configuration we added at the top which was the termination protection to true. So this is preventing that accidental deletion. All right, so what we have to go do is go back to the console and there's a flag termination protection. We have to toggle that. Now let's retry trying to delete this service. All right, so again, we have to explicitly mention yes. And this time, the service should be deleted. There you go. The service no longer exists. In this video, we learn how to create a PostgreSQL service using custom configurations for your production use case. And we did it using Terraform. If you like this video, please subscribe the channel. How did you find this video? We'd like to know. Please comment below. Thank you so much and I'll see you in the next video.